Okay, so I have uh, the RV fully opened. You have one slide there, you have the other slide there. I've not put the door down yet. I'll do that in a while. This is the second slide. Uh, okay, this needs to actually slide down. This goes down. And uh, this one actually goes down here too. This is something I should have done before I tighten the straps, but no worries. Again, uh, 2005, fairly decent. That's the third slide. I can't go much further because my fence is in the way, but uh, uh, no tears or rips. There is one uh, small tear somewhere, which I will show you, which uh, in fact uh, happened last time we were camping. That was winter. It still technically is winter, but uh, I already have the patch to repair it. So after this video, I would fix that up. Uh, okay, so propane tank, battery, battery is new. Both of these work perfectly fine. Uh, all the cabling for uh, uh, the tow signals lights have been replaced with new cable. Uh, connectors are new. Uh, the automatic disconnect switch or brake switch is replaced. I have uh, new chains here for the tow. The hitch is good. Uh, and as you can see, every summer or so, I try to check for any uh, rust spots, uh, grind it down or clean it down and repaint with a coat of primer and paint. So body's fairly good. Uh, no rusting any place. Uh, no delamination as you can see so this is where uh, you have your city water in it's it's low pressure water so either uh, you have an adapter which basically drops your pressure down i have one which i normally keep or you can just stick a hose and run it slow uh, that's a propane outlet uh, if you want to barbecue or cook outside you can connect a stove here the stove's inside and uh, this has lights out here which uh, basically you can leave it on at night so easy entry and exit manual folding entry stool okay so this is how it's inside so as you enter uh, you have a table which can seat four comfortably uh, six smaller adults or six kids easily uh, at night the table folds down and this becomes a bed so you can have actually uh, two smaller adults or two kids sleep here comfortably pretty good uh, on the left you have a fairly large bed i would say this is queen or slightly wider than queen curtains for privacy you can draw them leave them open uh, that's i think a coat rack never use them uh, lights, all lights have been upgraded to LED, new smoke sensor. You can see the batteries low, I need to take care of that. Uh, a pot in case you need to use it. I have never used it. Um, it's brand new. Uh, uh, you can actually slide the tank out and uh, drop that in the grey water area. And you have some storage at the back where, oops, I keep the tank cleaning supplies. Uh, on the left you have some storage for knickknacks. I have uh, um, fans and lights here. You can keep other stuff in. So under the table also you have a generous amount of storage. I normally keep, that's a heated blanket. It runs off uh, 12 volt DC, that's there. And then I do have a big toolbox. There is some storage under that as well. And then you have your drawer. Uh, I forgot to mention there are a plethora of uh, 110 points here. So you have two here, you have two here. Uh, that's your furnace, really good. In, uh, I mean, we have camped with a baby and a dog in, uh, let me see, 32. And we were comfortable. I mean, uh, once this was running, uh, we were fairly comfortable at night. So it works really well. This is the door up here folds up i have not put that down uh, moving to the left 
you have a couch which can sit maybe four to four to five people and this folds up into a bed as well uh, at night so good amount of space again sorry let me it's difficult doing it one-handed and then you have a ton of storage down here there's a big box for supplies on the right you have your kitchen counter sink we don't normally cook uh, we cook outside this is mainly for washing up or brushing our teeth at night or and down here you have some store i mean we can use it as storage but this is where the sink drains out there is a very large drawer here and as you can see we always store some of these noodles here you never know when you're hungry and we just leave them here when we're on a trip and something wants to be done or um, two power points here these are for the air conditioners so these are heavy duty power points uh, and these are gfci power points for your laptop or any smaller appliance i think it can run i don't know i've not checked i uh, we have mainly run a hair dryer and laptops so those run fine down here is uh, not really storage but some access point for you know where your uh, uh, drains go out and other plumbing so if there's anything that needs to be fixed you can always check it out here and under this floor below where my feet are we have a pretty decently sized water tank i don't know what size it is but should be at least 30 to 40 gallons if i'm correct um, electric panel new fuses i always make sure every couple of years the fuses are replaced because you don't want them going bad on you during a trip uh, down there's a thermostat works perfectly fine uh, down here on the left is your uh, i think this is either it's it's your co2 sensor co2 or gas propane i forget but between the sensor down here and the sensor down here and the sensor up here which you can see now so i have smoke fire and gas all covered so i can sleep comfortably because i take my family out i want to make sure everything is the way it should be so we didn't look at the fridge it's a small fridge it's a three-way fridge uh, fairly clean uh, mainly used to store milk eggs and maybe some breakfast meat Maybe fruits uh, works perfectly fine, cools perfectly fine, no noise or vibrations. And finally, we have another bed. Both the beds, I think this is also queen, but this may be slightly larger than a queen. Uh, and here is the stove again, never really used it. Uh, but this is available if uh, one ever needed to cook something. So it's a three stove, a three burner stove. You can either connect it outside like we saw or uh, you can actually place it on top of this and you have your gas lines down here that you can plug into air conditions up there fully serviced uh, no problem again all lights are leds so fairly efficient on power what else mm. good amount of space uh, we normally when we go camping it is me my wife my older son who's 12 and the younger one who's uh, just about 11 months and a dog so we are fairly comfortable so that's where we sleep me wife and the small baby my son will either sleep here or down there uh, or actually even here so whichever the place is he normally sleeps here because the dog doesn't really want to go up there so he and the dog sleep here and that's where we stage our clothes or other luggage that we have so best of both worlds uh, so when i bought this uh, again i bought this what five years ago used it a couple of times since then uh, i park it at home uh, so when when i bought it i bought it and uh, the person who sold it to me didn't he said it was good and made me a story but i found you know there was a leak which had uh, damaged part of the roof so in fact i spent maybe a month maybe 10 15 hours in total i took down the entire roof 
uh, took it down to the beams, uh, re-welded the metal, metal cross structures and built, rebuilt the roof up from there myself. And, I, and, and the reason of the leak was these air conditioners have a gasket on the top which prevents water from coming in. So that had failed. They do every couple of years. It's a 15 or $20 part, but people don't know that and never replace it. So that is what caused water to get into the roof and damage it. So I fixed, I replaced the, all the section from here all the way to here is brand new. It's a brand new roof, uh, fully done up. And to prevent anything like this happening, of course, the gaskets are new, but you have, I think, a cutout here. So what I did is, before I put this back in, uh, I actually close that up with um, uh, uh, fiberglass. So if e even f in case water ever comes in, it will not pool into the roof, but it will come down. And the floor is waterproof. So at least you're not left with a damaged roof. Uh, floors are much easier to fix than the roof. Uh, but yeah, that's a nutshell. Can comfortably sleep, I would say one, two, three, four, five, six adults can easily sleep. Uh, maybe four adults and four kids or three kids. So a ton of space. Uh, it's easy to tow. I think it's maybe slightly above 2000 pounds. I don't know exactly. Uh, I have towed it with the uh, a smaller Porsche SUV. I've towed it with my uh, Navigator. Never had any issues. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think in this package, unless you go up to a class, I don't think class Bs would be this roomy as well. Maybe a class C or a class A would have all these features. Uh, but yeah, uh, hope this gave you an insight into how this RV is and uh, what the features and what would this be good for. Anyway, have a good day.